hamilton jacobi bellman equation is a partial differential equation which is central to optimal control theory. The solution of the HJB equation is the value function, which gives the minimum cost for a given dynamical system with an associated cost function. When solved locally, the HJB is a necessary condition, but when solved over the whole of state space, the HJB equation is a necessary and sufficient condition for an optimum. The solution is open loop, but it also permits the solution of the closed loop problem. The HJB method can be generalized to stochastic systems as well. Classical variational problems, for example the brachis de Krohn problem, can be solved using this method. The equation is a result of the theory of dynamic programming which was pioneered in the 1950s by Richard Bellman and co-workers. The corresponding discrete time equation is usually referred to as the Bellman equation. In continuous time, the result can be seen as an extension of earlier work in classical physics on the Hamilton-Jacobi equation by William Rowan Hamilton and Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi. Optimal control problems. Consider the following problem in deterministic optimal control over the time period, where C is the scalar cost rate function and D is a function that gives the economic value or utility at the final state. X is the system state vector, X is assumed given, and U for 0 TT is the control vector that we are trying to find. The system must also be subject to where F gives the vector determining physical evolution of the state vector over time. The partial differential equation for this simple system, the hamilton jacobi bellman partial differential equation is subject to the terminal condition where the means the dot products of the vectors are and b, and is the gradient operator. The unknown scalar in the above PDE is the Bellman value function, which represents the cost incurred from starting in state at time and controlling the system optimally from then until time. Deriving the equation, intuitively HJB can be derived as follows. If is the optimal cost to go function, then by Richard Bellman's principle of optimality, going from time t to t plus dt. We have note that the Taylor expansion of the last term is where O denotes the terms in the Taylor expansion of higher order than 1. Then if we cancel V, T on both sides, divide by DT, and take the limit as DT approaches 0, we obtain the HJB equation defined above. Solving the equation. The HJB equation is usually solved backwards in time, starting from an ending that when solved over the whole of state space, the HJB equation is a necessary and sufficient condition for an optimum. If we can solve for then we can find from it a control that achieves the minimum cost. In general case, the HJB equation does not have a classical solution. Extension to stochastic problems the idea of solving a control problem by applying Bellman's principle of optimality and then working out backwards in time an optimizing strategy can be generalized to stochastic control problems. Consider similar as above now with the stochastic process to optimize and the steering by first using Bellman and then expanding with ITO's rule. One finds the stochastic HJB equation where represents the stochastic differentiation operator, and subject to the terminal condition note that the randomness has disappeared. In this case a solution of the latter does not necessarily solve the primal problem. It is a candidate only and a further verifying argument is required. This technique is widely used in financial mathematics to determine optimal investment strategies in the market. Application to LQG control is an example. We can look at a system with linear stochastic dynamics and quadratic cost. If the system dynamics is given by and the cost accumulates at rate, the HJB equation is given by assuming a quadratic form for the value function. We obtain the usual Riccati equation for the Hessian of the value function as is usual for linear quadratic Gaussian control. 